My chainsaw broke. stoked for this man and I really couldn't sleep last night because I get to actually go onto our land and cut down some trees use some chainsaws and just try to get something moving the plan has been since day one that we were gonna do this thing called the forestry mulcher Isn't that thing awesome? Oh man, it is a wood chipper in front of a skid steer. And so it just shreds like crazy. I found a company that was just an awesome deal. It was something like, you know, 125, 150 bucks per hour. It seemed like it was too good to be true. And well, unfortunately, I guess it is. And now, you know, they ended up telling me that, hey, that it's probably gonna be January of 2017 uh, before they're able to get to my property. So my boy Pete with Drought Proof Texas, uh, he is our land designer and a, and a friend of ours. He said that we need to just go out there with some chainsaws. We just need to be able to clear it by hand. So that's what we're doing today. I got, I got my dad's truck loaded up. I don't even know if you can see that back there. Uh, so I borrowed my dad's truck. Thank you, dad. We're gonna concentrate on two things one the driveway and two a little camping site so that the kids can come around and play Woo there's right. poison ivy right here where right, right here okay and that's it right there and this and that and this and that right there right in front of like this one's got a couple of little teeth all right so how are we gonna get through all that? Dude, oh, they're always on the edges, right? We're just gonna do it, man. Sweet. And then, you know, are you allergic to poison ivy? Uh, we will see. I've never gotten into it. All right, well, just like, try not to, do you have gloves? Yep. Okay, wear gloves, and then don't touch your face with your gloves. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good tip. These freaking cats. Oh. 
My chainsaw broke. That sucks. Pete, how do I fix my chainsaw? He didn't hear me. Pretty easy. Take your bar tool. Loosen these. Is that normal for it to fall off like that? Uh, no, well. Um, or was it something stupid that I was doing? No. Uh, <laughs> see how it just goes right in there. As you get these things tight, back on. Did you hear something? Big old battle cats. <laughs> Second time the chain fell off. Time to go home. Okay, so we are done here. Uh, Pete just left. This was tiring, this is hard stuff. Um, it, was, it was good, I'm glad we did it. Uh, we, made, we made good progress, but for just two guys and chainsaws, I mean, it took a while. But the number one thing that we got is we laid out the road. Okay, so this is gonna be the little entryway for our driveway, for our property. Pretty cool. So as you can see, the master Pete laid out this. You see these flags, I don't know if you can see it there. So it's not gonna be 90 degrees, it's gonna come in at an angle so that big trucks and everything would be able to come through. So it's really gonna be nice to come through here that we can get a lot of big trucks to bring mulch. I mean, this is really designed for a farm ranch. The access way to get out of here is this way. So it's a great start for one day, two guys clearing land by hand with a couple of chainsaws. Um, as you see over here, we cleared out some of that too. Um, it was really over, overgrown. This is all the branches that we did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come through and then we're gonna rent a chipper and take all of this all of this wood and we're gonna bring in some wood chips. And we're not gonna bring it in, we're gonna actually bring in a chipper and we're gonna create the wood chips here. And so it'll be a nice little kinda play area for the kids and camping. I did not use, I only use like the chainsaw and, and the food and the weed eater. Yes, I used a weed eater. That was a terrible idea from the truck. Everything else was just a waste. I did use this thing. <laughs> Wayne Kerr, highly recommend one of these at your land.